At the forward slots, it's Barton and Milton. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. And for the Magic, Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Bucevic. And it's Isaac in at the small forward position. And it's going to be the... So for the Magic, Evan Fournier is checked in for Isaac. And Chase subbed in for Terrence Ross. Big group sub. Substitution here for Denver. Plumley is checked in for Millsap. Jeremy Grant comes in for Barton. Beasley is checked in for Harris. And Monte Morris subbed in for Murray. In the corner, it's Morris. And he's good on the three ball. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. That's good from Fultz on the assist by Che. Che making it look so easy, dropping that nice room service dime there. Passes it to Plumley. Back to Morris. Here's Grant. Pass to Morris. This one for three. Another three for Denver. That's their third straight make off an assist. So for the Magic, their last game a loss to the Bucks. Pass to Gordon. Good ball movement here by the Magic. And it's sent back by Jokic. Outstanding timing from Jokic there. Then the superb reach to wipe away the shot. For the Magic. Hamid Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Aaron Gordon. And it's Caspian for Fultz. And a switcher also for Denver. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Beasley outside. Now the pass to Porter. Off target from outside. The Magic trail by 10. Shea passes to Bamba. From 18 feet away, the rebound by Grant. And Morris has got the ball here for the Nuggets. Now here's Beasley. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shot clock at six. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. With a break in the action, let's show you the teams with the most second-chance points last year. The Nuggets, number one. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago. Their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second-chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. You'd love for all your shots to come from that range. Che, always going to cash in on a chance like that. Bounce pass from Morris. Easily outside. And the call will be against Fournier. That's his first foul. Morris with the ball. He has six. Six to shoot. Back to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Here's Porter. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Oh, great ball movement there. The Magic trail by 12. Pass to Bamba. Now Aminu. And Grant sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Outside, Porter. And it's Orlando with the rebound. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off 
distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. Fournier dishes to Che. Bamba kicks to Caspi. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Caspi's got to back down to within single digits for the Magic. You know, guys, passing is one part of Bamba's game that he's been working on. And, you know, when you can pass it as a big guy, that's an added bonus. Porter passes to Plumlee. Pass to Beasley. Nice D from Fournier. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Boy, I tell you, Bamba's wingspan and his standing reach is ridiculous. This dude was born to throw it down. Pass to Porter. Orlando grabs the miss. Aminu's got four rebounds in this game. Hey, you know, the Magic last year, they hired Steve Clifford as head coach. Um, he's known for his defensive systems, and they allow the fifth fewest points in the league, and they're sixth in block shots. So defense clearly much improved for them. And a wide open look for Porter. The Nuggets with another miss. And it's Orlando's ball. They're on a 12 4 run. The slam dunk by Aminu. And not the prototype power forward. But he has tremendous athletic ability. Morris inside. Shea's there. Morris. Shea with the block. Making an impact with his defense. I know how important that is to Che in every game he plays. He wants to get it done at both ends. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Morris with the ball. Che's there. The shot off that time. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And that one is good by Beasley. And the Nuggets lead by one. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Nikola Jokic, a former second-round pick, turned star in the league. Basketball, like passion, love. Like, that is the thing I play, like, when I know four, six, seven years old, I don't know. Like, basketball is always in my life. In basketball... So a new group on the floor for Orlando. And then for Denver. Jokic, he's checked in for Michael Porter. And Murray subbed in for Beasley. Plumley finds Grant. Morris looking over the floor. And that's the tough part of trying to keep him on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. And, you know, you look at Monte Morris, this former Iowa State Cyclone, really an ideal option as a backup point guard because he's efficient and gets a lot done in limited playing time. And Morris Clark, a second-round pick in 2017. He came alive in his sophomore season. I love the fact that he got his chance and he made the most of it, Kevin. He showed great poise and awareness, uh, excellent in terms of his shot selection, and was highly productive as a scorer and playmaker off the bench. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Markel folds out there with Che, and it's Caspi in at the small forward. That's his out there for Orlando. Here's Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Eight points for Jokic. You know, an area worthy of further development for Murray is keeping his teammates involved. Fultz the pass to Che. Back to Fultz. Over to the wing. Here's Vucevic. A beautiful reverse layup. 
Vucevic has got the lead up to three now for the Magic. Really like the quick decision making of Fultz there, Kevin. Excellent at surveying the floor for the open teammate. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, for Nick Vucevic, there were some great firsts last season. His son, Philip was born in December. And then dad made his first all-star appearance. Nick is from a basketball family. He said, I'll enjoy telling my son the stories, like my dad did with me. We'll see if he likes the game of basketball. I think he will. Kevin? Well, D.A., it's certainly in his genes. Thanks for that report. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Here's a look at the schedule for the Orlando Magic. On Tuesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Wednesday, they continue the road trip heading out to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. And it's Fultz with the ball for Orlando. Outside Gordon. Inside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. And Clark, your love for the Buckeye State has never been questioned. What was the best part of growing up as a kid in Ohio? Well, I think a number of things. One, having family around, extended family as well as immediate family, but also the sports love that exists throughout the state and being able to experience that and enjoy that with my dad and um, siblings. Um, that's special. And having a career in basketball that I've had um, makes it even more special. The drive by Che. Gordon dishes to Che. And Caspi has it in the corner. Che with it. He's against Morris. Vucevic. Good defense by Jokic. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Here's Fultz. It's tipped. Here's Beasley. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And, and you got to like how they're working the ball inside this quarter. They were struggling to do that earlier. Now they're showing the focus to take the ball inside. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Morris, no good on the free throw. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And Greg, definitely that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And they keep hammering away at them inside, forcing the ball into the paint. One forty-three left here in the second. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Man, what a season it was for the Nuggets and Coach Mike Malone. He helped the Nuggets move into elite status in the West. You know, they went from out of the playoffs in 2018 to second in the West in 2019. Evan Fournier is checked in for Casper. And the foul called on Shea. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Nuggets shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight, and that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Clark, the media recognizing Malone by naming him a Coach of the Year finalist. Well, you think about the way the Nuggets' defense improved last year. It's testimony to Mike Malone and his attention to detail, particularly at the defensive end. The roster's all in on Malone as their leader, and that means the Nuggets are going to be a force for a while. Now, when you look at Mo Bamba with his size around 7 1 in high, Clark, the longest wingspan, arm span ever measured at the combine, he can dominate inside. And you know what, guys? The scary thing is, he's got room to fill out. He's got room to add good muscle and weight to that frame. And once he does, he's going to be a nightmare to deal with. Jay with a bucket. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Denver's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Morris, no good. Orlando's gone 6 of 7 from long range tonight. They've been on fire from way outside. Shea, no good. The Nuggets shooting 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement yielding good looks. 
Here's Morris. Bamba with the block. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Volts kicks to Chain. Left side, Gordon. Fournier passes to Chain. Stolen by Grant. Chalk up two there. And the Nuggets lead by two. Nice initiative. Good start there by Grant. I mean, seeing a great fast break opportunity in front of him and took full advantage of it. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Nuggets lead by two. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly easy. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Gordon. Murray comes in for Jonathan Isaac. Kevin Fournier is checked in for Ross. And Chase subbed in for Fultz. Big group substitution here for Denver. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. Grant comes in for Paul Millsap. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Will Barton. And Morris subbed in for Harris. So on the floor for Denver, it's Morris and Beasley at the one and the two. Plumley out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Porter in at the three. Here's Hugh. From the right block, the shot is good. Shea's got 11 points. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Morris inside, covered by Che. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. That should give them a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. A three from Morris. Aminu grabs the miss. Aminu's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. It's stolen by Morris. Grant gets a wide-open look. Almost, but it rolls out. The Magic trail by six. The drive by Chay. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot. two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Mason Plumley. He is never going to pass up a chance to attack. I mean, that's Shea's mindset and mentality. Use movement to put the defense in a tough spot. Mark, over the last couple decades, the role of the big man has changed and required more skill outside shooting among them. Yeah, that's one of the things. And then the ability to move your feet defensively. Yes. Because the three-point shot spaces the floor so much, and a lot of times teams will have four, maybe five perimeter shooters out there regardless of size. So big guys, if they're going to play in that type of an alignment, have to be able to move their feet and effectively guard perimeter players and also make shots from the perimeter as well. Amazing to see guys that big out there sometimes with a one-on-one -on -one with a guard, like on the, on the yeah. three-point line. No doubt. And also the big guys, we've got a ton of them, Kevin, across the league that can really knock down the three-point shot. Denver leading by seven. Al Beasley. And he makes that one. Beasley's got four points this quarter. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Che kicks to Aminu. Back to Che. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the Nuggets, a very strong rebounding team. Yeah, you know, not just on defense, but on offense as well. First in the league and second chance points have a lot of players that are active on the offensive glass. Jokic has checked in for Monte Morris. Shea's mentality has all...
always been that of a very driven player. I mean, this is a man who has no other speed besides full. The Magic trail by 11. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Shea's got 14. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Murray kicks to Beasley. The pass to Grant. Bounce pass from Plumley. Here's Murray. It's hauled in by Jay. Orlando's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Orlando moving the ball around. Bamba passes to Che, and it's sent back by Plumley. A minute 20 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Jokic, and it's off the back rim. No good. Orlando's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. There's an aggressiveness to Che's game that I think everybody can appreciate and respect. Prides himself on keeping pressure on the defense. Will Barton, he's checked in for Murray. Well, you, you talk about physical gifts for the game. Mo Bamba, a seven-footer with the longest wingspan, seven, nine and a half, and that gives him a huge sphere of influence. The slam dunk by Aminu. Boy, Chase, quick feet and hands on defense. Allow them to get out on the break. Gets them an easy bucket. Denver leading by six. Easily outside. Passes it to Barton. Shoots the three. Aminu grabs the miss. Aminu's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Fournier passes to Che. And it's sent back by Plumley. Pick up the pace. Get the two for one here. That's the way to go. Be quick about it. Easily outside. Jokic draws the double. Pass to Barton. Shot clock at five. And another shot. And he lays it up and in. Barton's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, you know what? I think Barton does a nice job hitting the boards. Would love more of that kind of intensity from it. Here's Fultz. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Mike Malone moments ago with some words for his players. will make substitutions. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And, you know, Fultz is a guy who can easily take over a game if you give him an opportunity to. He's very confident and has remarkable decision-making skills. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by five. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. And as you'd expect, he's done most of his damage in that low block. I mean, that was the game plan to get it to him in the paint and just let him go to work. And him boy has the big fella delivered. He has just killed them down low. And so it's Orlando winning this one. They didn't make it. Shifted and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit. 
for that stick to it to be in terms of finishing out and executing. Gameplay. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony. Hey, great and win, Dale fellas. Great Dale. win. Good game. Good game. Hey, let me get that shoe. Let me get that shoe for my kid. Come on, man. Let me get a picture. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here. Over here. Welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. Hey, there's the guy I'm looking for. How you feeling, Che? You ready to get this W? You're acting weird. <laughs> I mean, really, you're making it more weird. What's up? Just tell me. Okay, it's your clothes. They're a problem. You're a star now. You gotta act like one. What's wrong with my clothes? Mm. What's wrong with them? I mean, they're great. I stand by this suit. <laughs> Is this thing even tailored? I'm not saying you have to come in here looking like Russell Westbrook with an astronaut helmet and suspenders, but you gotta put some effort in. If you wanna wear a suit, that's great. That's a classic look, but go and get a nice one. And for the love of everything good in this world, please get it tailored. Act like you've been there before. All right, I'm gonna get new clothes. Can I get ready for the game now? <laughs> You're the greatest. Oh, good. And just about to get underway as the starting fives. Coming to you live on this Tuesday night, it's the NBA. The City Thunder has moved up the rankings defensively year after year. Coach Billy... D and they bring that physicality. Thank you, David. A look at the starting group for the Magic. At the four and the five, we have Borden and Vucevic. Colts and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. And it's Isaac in at the three slot. Even if... Were coming down the road. Yeah, most of that, Kevin, I think happens because of 
internally what's going on with the team. Yeah, on the floor, you're going to see guys operating in the offense, playing pick and roll. But it's behind good, the curtain yeah, where you begin to feel it, right? Good, yeah. good executives yeah. and good coaching staff. Have to understand communicating to the people in the front office to say, hey, if we stay this way, our potential instead of growing is not knowing how low we're going to go. So we need to make some changes. Orlando's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Shea passes to Aminu. Misses in close. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And stolen by Fournier. And here's the fast break. Ross leading the way. Here's Che. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, you, you could see they were pressing in that one. And the shooting percentages dipped because of it. Yeah, I'll say anytime you're having trouble getting over that 40% field goal mark, it's probably not going to be your night. It's Schroeder with the drive. Ross grabs the board. The Magic have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. And the pass to Vucevic. And they call over the back here. Too much content. And guys, as soon as you start going over and through a rebounder, you're probably going to get this for over the back. Yeah, energy is good, but not smart there trying to go through somebody on that play. For the Magic, Ahmed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic, and it's Caspian for Ross. Shea dishes to Bamba. Here's Shea. Missed inside. And the foul Magic called on Shea. Shea. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. For Oak. Magic leading by 14 on the court for Orlando. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Shea is out there with Fultz, and it's Isaac in at the small forward. To Fultz. To the inside. Here's Vucevic. That shot off the mark. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. And their series last year was a bit of a comparison between the two conferences. Both were in the middle of the pack. Isaac passes to Che. Some solid D from Paul. Under trailing by 12. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, last season the Magic broke a six-season playoff drought. Nick Vucevic was the franchise's first all-star in seven seasons. It's been a long rebuild from the Dwight Howard era. We'll see where the team goes from here, but Kevin, they're happy to just be playing games that matter night in and night out. All right, thank you very much, David. Off the left rim and out. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. Shea passes to Fultz. Shea outside. Kicks it to Fultz. A three. A thunder pull it in. Hatton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ferguson. It's rebounded by Fultz. Fultz has got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Che. Over in the corner, Isaac. Back to Che. To the middle. Gordon, the pass to Vucevic. Just five on the clock. Here's Che. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Under trailing by seven. Here's Ferguson. He's got seven. Passes to...
Paul. There's Moreland. Shot left block, and that one drops for him. And for Coach Billy Donovan of the Thunder, a lot on the line. In his last year of a five-year contract with the team, the end result of this team will determine his future with the franchise. Well, this team has never missed the playoffs under his watch, and the interesting thing with the... Augustine looking around. Cranes the three-pointer. Augustine's got seven points in the game. That's a nice play, getting the separation. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. We've played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Eric Moreland's checked in for the Thunder. Chase checked in for the Magic. Thunder trailing by 11. Gallinari is out there with Ferguson. Then there's Robertson. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Moreland in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Ross passes to Chase. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. Second, the Thunder. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the identity. I mean, they really look to disrupt and cause problems defensively. And boy, do they take advantage on the other end. Just five to shoot. Gordon. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Here's Ferguson and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. In the first few seasons in the NBA, not an easy time for Terrence Ferguson. The young Wings have their ups and downs, but the franchise still very much believes in his talent. And the Thunder making a switch here. Hilgis Alexander's checked in. Murray's checked in for the Magic. Here's Che, the dish to Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. Now, something about it, the game feels like it's slowing down out there for Che, who's seeing the whole court. And with Ferguson, the fans can be hard on him. They're expecting more. But, Greg, it's going to take time for him. You know, Ferguson has already made big strides with his defense. The shot and consistency will come. But, but the fans will have to be patient with him. Down low. Gordon kicks to Murray. To the paint. Here's Che. And that one, good. And the Magic lead by 13. Now that's a tough shot. It takes a bunch of focus to score when you're knocked into like that. Nice job by Che. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Eight points for him. Moreland dishes to Gallinari. Oklahoma City keeps it going. A new shot clock of 14 seconds. Ferguson's shot is good. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Jay kicks to Gordon. Got a piece of it. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Here's Robertson. They get the rebound. Ferguson for three. That's not going to drop for him. Five of nine with that miss. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Ross passes to Che. Right side, Gordon. Five to shoot over Gallinari. Thunder with the rebound. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Robertson kicks to Ferguson. Off target with his three. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 12-4 run. Here's Hugh. 
And that one is off. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. It's been a struggle for him tonight, but they can make this lead hold up. He can just chalk this up as one of those nights. To the inside. Banked in off the glass. Chase got his second basket. Hard work inside on the basket. Che silencing some of the doubters out there in terms of his effort. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And stolen by Che. And here we go. Fast break with Che. Ross with a wide open look and a miss there on the triple. Thunder trailing by 13. Here's Ferguson. Rebound by the Magic. Vucevic has got four rebounds in this game. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Good on the bucket. 11 points for Aaron Gordon. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now here's Robertson. He's guarded by Ross. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The teardrop falls in. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the game. Gilgis Alexander, some imaginative offense on that play. Vucevic to the pass to Che. Murray dishes to Che. He's looking for Gordon and finds him. From the line, again, the magic score. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. Well, defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. To the middle. Good, and the assist goes to Che. Che's got his fourth assist in this one. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now guarded by Jay. And the foul called on Terrence Ross. That's foul number two for him. A different look for Oklahoma City. Mike Muscala comes in for Eric Moreland. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Terrence Ferguson. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Aaron Gordon. Caspi is checked in for Murr. And Evan Fournier is subbed in for Terrence Ross. Orlando leading by 15. And every season, the Thunder continue to be one of the more dominating teams on the glass. You just wonder how much Steven Adams has been the catalyst for that kind of mentality. We know that offensively he's always in there to grab rebounds, but it's part of what they know is important in any possession is collecting the ball. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Gilgis Alexander, good. These are the type of games for Gilgis Alexander where the promise of his future looks incredibly bright. Back to Jay. The pass to Bamba. From the stripe. Jay kicks to Aminu. Outside Fournier. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Pass to Caspi. Over Robertson. Kept alive. Jay passes to Fournier. Down low. Here's Bamba. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. Thunder trailing by 13. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points in the quarter. Out to the wing. Now, here's Bamba. Defense right on him. Pass to Caspi. And here's Aminu. He kicks to Che. Puts it up. Orlando gets it back. A slam dunk by Aminu. Well, how about the effort from Aminu there? Something he's known for is crashing the boards, plus improved ability to finish around the rim. Now here's Schroeder, covered by Che. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. And it's Schroeder missing. Well, he finds some space 
in that in-between gap there, Kevin. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Fournier dishes the chain. Looking for Aminu, he gets it there. It's Che, top of the key. Inside, it's stolen by Muscala. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Nobody near Schroeder, and the three ball is good. Schroeder's got 10 points in the game. Schroeder can be very persistent when he drives to the hole, which is why the D decided to let him pull up for that shot. Passes it to Fournier. In the corner, it's Che. Here's Bamba. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. So much talk about the work ethic of Gilgis Alexander. Strong defensive play that time. And so it's Aaron Gordon making things happen for the Orlando Magic. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look. Ferguson's checked in for the Thunder. Chris Paul comes in for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Vucevic checked in for Bamba. Aaron Gordon comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. Ross is checked in for Evan Fournier. And Shea's subbed in for Fultz. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. On the court for Orlando, at the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Terrence Ross is out there with Shea. And it's Isaac in at the three slot. Here's Schroeder. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And you watch Dennis Schroeder. You can see how deadly Brent he can be when he's locked in. Well, he accepted the role in Oklahoma City about coming off the bench and trying to be a spark plug for Schroeder. It's really about consistency, Kevin. Che outside. Gordon the pass to Che and taken away by Paul and it's Schroeder in the corner drills it from outside Schroeder's got 19 points well you can see and maybe feel right now him getting into the comfort zone out there after dropping the second three of the half out left to the wing Vucevic the pass to Che good work there as it goes Che's got four points this quarter just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. There's the pass to Paul. Molinari trying to get open. Count it, and the Orlando lead has been cut to just five on the basket from Chris Paul. Back to Che. Pass to Gordon. To the inside. And Che gets it to go on the assist by Gordon. And that's now 10 points for Che. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. After this one, they're off to San Antonio to take on the Spurs. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. The shot's good from Paul. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Now Isaac. Back to Jay, to the paint. Here's Ross. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That free throw good from Ross. Robertson, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. And both free throws good for Ross. Well, last season, Terrence Ferguson was a starter for the Thunder, and Brent, he made some improvements in his second season. Yeah, this is another guy for this team that they're just trying to find not just consistent minutes, but consistency in his play. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down, or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws here. Well, when Danilo Gallinari came into the NBA, Brent, he was just a catch-and-shoot type player.
but he's so much more than that now. Well, I think with the way the league has changed with the three-point shot and Gallinari's ability to do that, he's gotten a lot smarter about picking his spots when the pump fake can drive in and draw some contact. Here's Ferguson. Ross grabs the board. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. And Gallinari kicks to Robertson. Pass to Patton. And here's Robertson. Passes it to Patton. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And that one is good. Well, no hesitation from Robertson that time. Got his shot off quickly as soon as he got the ball. Shea passes to Vucevic. Back to Shea. Gordon kicks to Ross. Feeds it to Shea. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And back when I first saw him in Summer League, one of the things that I liked about Che is that he invites the contact, does not shy away from those kind of plays. Thunder trailing by three. Paul looking over the floor. A floater. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Vucevic. Well, we're now on the back end of what has been, Greg, an incredible career for Chris Paul. Perhaps no longer the undisputed best point guard in the game, but uh, still a top talent. And, and Chris Paul might not be the best point guard, but any team would be happy to have him. His efficiency and playmaking aren't going away anytime soon. And even though he's never been an overly athletic player, that aspect of his game still is strong as ever. And it's Che missing. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Here's Ferguson. He's covered by Isaac. Here's Robertson. Vucevic with the block. Was on the wing. Back to Che. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, the great thing about the NBA is that you can prove yourself on a nightly basis. Chase Stock fell staying four years in college. A lot of analytics guys don't like the fact that as you get older, uh, you maybe don't have the chance to reach a higher ceiling, but he's performed since he's entered the league. Here's Paul. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Vucevic. Love how Paul angles his body when he feels that contact and then pushes off and draws the foul every time. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in, and right now I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. Bounce pass, Isaac. Ross with it, now guarded by Gallinari. Six on the shot clock. Gallinari against Ross. Some solid defense from Gallinari. To take the lead. And Chris Paul hits from deep. Paul's got 11 in the second half. Yeah, just love how Chris Paul steps up and nails crucial baskets. A huge momentum-changing shot there. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Chris Paul. And Kevin, his three-point shooting has been a big key. Twelve of his points have come from downtown, and those points didn't come cheaply. He's worked hard on the perimeter aspect of his game and got good high percentage shots. Alinari right side with some arc and Chris Paul the bucket on the assist from Gallinari. And now a three-point Thunder lead. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back 
into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Vucevic to the pass to Chain. Ferguson for three. Ross grabs the board. Ross has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Shot to stop the run. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Chris Paul picks up that one. He hits the first one, and that brings them within two here. And both free throws, good for Jay. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. He dishes it to Robertson. Offline with his three. And they're in position to take the lead. And how big would a bucket be at this stage of the game? Gordon dishes to Che. Down low. Vucevic to the pass to Che. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All of that earned right there. It's become Che's mantra since he's gotten into the NBA. And the second of two is good. That ties the game up. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. Onari with it. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Isaac kicks to Ross. Orlando moving the ball around. Che passes to Gordon. Now here's Che. Clock at four. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he does get the second one. And that gives them the lead. They're ahead, but if they don't get a stop here, that free throw could prove critical. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 30 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Man. Twenty-six seconds left in the game. The pass to Golinari. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Vucevic. Pass to Isaac for three. Ross can't get the three to fall. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so the big win by Orlando. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled... Everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Nice win for your team, Chad.
ultimately, it's about getting my guys involved. That's what I thrive on. We all got to eat, ain't? I want none of my guys going home hungry. You're a warrior poet, Sarge, like my main man, Tupac. Uh, oh. No, hold up. No, Tupac is not your main man. What? Sure. Jay, get in here. I got some fun stuff for you today. It's time to figure out some shoes. Consider it done. Great choice, by the way. Hey, I appreciate you, man. I'll let you know when it's time. Let me know what you think about the video down below in the comment section.